precious unto you. Amen. When God's word is holy unto you. Hello, somebody. See, God's word is holy when it's holy unto you. Hello, somebody. Amen. God's word is, is sacred when it's sacred unto you. Some people can do anything at any time. It doesn't bother them. Some people can come to church and act a fool. But when God's word is sacred, when it's housing, when I was a sinner, when I was when I would walk around out there, man, doing my thing, I walk by God's house and do like this here. It, it, his house was sacred. Joe would get the cuss of him. Not my God, I really quit with that because, because God's house is sacred. You, you begin to worship God. No matter what the devil got you going through, I ain't finna act a fool around God. I ain't finna trip around God. Now, I'll trip in a minute, but not round. Hello, somebody. I might I might lie in a minute, but not round. I might come out my mouth, but not round. Hello, somebody. Amen. See, that, that that's a thing where there's an element of what you call respect. Unto the Lord, amen. I got to give God the highest honor, amen. The Bible said he is worthy to be praised. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody, amen. I, I, I got to worship this God because I, I, I adore this God. I love him, amen. He, he's everything to me, amen. When, when you went to singing a song, and I said, I just got to say, y'all can say, throw me out of here, won't you? But I'm on. I can't hold my peace. I just... Hello, somebody. I got, to, I got to let go and let God. I got to be used to God. It might not be nothing to you, but it's going to be something. If it don't be nothing to nobody but me, it's going to be something. But I believe by stepping out, somebody might see me step out. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Somebody else might already want to step out. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. Amen. I might be able to use as an instrument. In his hand, see, God is, and hello, somebody, and a reward of them that diligently seek him. But that's got to mean something to you. If it doesn't mean anything to you, if it's not knocking on the door of your heart saying, open up, let me in. If it don't look at God place before you and open the door, why your heart closed to him? Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Ain't nothing wrong with God. Something's wrong with us. Amen. God got to, he got to tiptoe to get into the blessing. If God God don't sneak off into your heart to bless you, you won't get blessed. Because we got to come being God. You say, well, I don't know. Hmm. Pride will shoot in in a minute. Hell or something about it. Amen. God bless you with a job. You are, I don't know what I can do. Um, I, I done heard you say everything except thank you, Jesus. We ain't, nobody, we ain't call me no more. I know. Because the real world is thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He the way to life and the truth. Ain't that too hard for God? When you begin to believe that something is too hard to God, you are not worshiping God. When you begin to think God can't do something or can't work something out, you're not worshiping God. Hello, somebody. It's not just about faith. It's about worshiping God. Faith is what calls you to be able to worship God. He said, come out from amongst them dollars. You hang around with too many dollars. You can hang around your, your environment condition you. You can hang around too many non-believers. And I ain't talking about you can get around. People can get in the church. They are Pharisees, stuff to see. There are people that tell you, uh, uh, People tell you, oh, you never did see it. But the man of God told me, yeah, but you do it. But the man of God told me, yeah, but you. Come on now. I mean, I received revelation, but I received the word of God that I preached for the revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. Y'all might be radical. You might not you might not find more people. The Bible said they, they was looking to throw him out the, out the temple anyhow. And anybody that confessed that they was anointed, amen? This conformed thing, way of doing business, hello, somebody. They got too many children out there died right now from this conformed mentality, amen? How is the power of God so limited that the drug dealer can be so strong, but the Christian can be so whining, crying, and backed up in corners and scared to death? Oh, y'all don't want to talk. 
talk to me. Hello, somebody. How is it that we can allow sin to just take over? Y'all don't want to talk to me. Destroy our children. Come in our house. Do all kind of damage. We bind up their demon, and we off in the corner and say, don't let him get me. Hello, somebody. Amen. I stand up and call the devil a liar to hide from sin. What you said? I'm just saying, amen. And they look at it, and look at it. got some of the nastiest ways of talking to people. Let me show you something. We be married, they came us talk to one another without that old crazy behind mess. But I want me a new home. I want me this and that. And God look at you like you think that I would put your demonic behind off in something. You better go get them drug dealers to do something for you. You better go in. If you're going to wish him, say you might as well wish him in all the way. Because you ain't coming straddling the fence with me. Your mouth is to blame nasty. And you don't care who you get nasty around. You don't care whether you get nasty in the church. You don't care whether you get nasty around God people. You don't care who. You just got a no care nasty behind mouth. Hello, somebody. Huh? And I'm about to wash my hand of a bunch of nasty mouth behind people. I don't want nobody traveling nowhere with me got a nasty behind mouth. Uh, I don't want nobody riding him. God definitely don't want nobody riding him with a nasty behind mouth. I am the child of the living God. Amen. Praise be to God. At some point you enter into your rest. At some point you have to shut your blame mouth. Yeah, hello, somebody. You have to, at some point, your tongue need to cleave up to the roof of your mouth. Hey, hello, somebody. If you, they, they should tell me, if you can't say that good, don't say nothing at all. Uh, hello, somebody. Amen. And you want to proclaim, you, you know, I come from an age when they said, cleanliness is next to God. Well, how did you get in with that fire behind my mouth? Hello, somebody. Amen. The Bible said that in the wedding ceremony, said when the king walked in, he saw one in there without a robe. If you ain't got a robe of righteousness on, if there ain't no change to come about your life, if you ain't got no clean change of clothes, if you ain't got no wedding garment, you can get this. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Amen. I thank the Lord. Amen. You, the humble is the way. You got to you got to humble yourself. You got to come down. You got to get down off your high horses. You got to hello somebody because God is and a reward of them that diligently seek Him. God will make a way for your life, but your life consists of hello somebody more than just your attitude. Amen. You got to learn. Look at look at look at. We, we enter into. I, I'm entering into God rest. And God rest means that I enter into a state that I that I don't have to wrestle with this and wrestle with that because God it's already done. God word it's already settled. I don't have to be tied up in a bunch of foolishness. I don't have to be tied up in crazy behind. Hello, somebody. I thank the Lord. I give God the praise, the glory, and the honor. God is good, amen. God wants us, we, we are in the, hello somebody. I began to talk to people over in Nassau last night. They began to prophesy and speak the same thing, preacher, amen. There's a season. God has a season for his people. And it, right now is the people. God is shaping and molding his people to enter into, their, into his rest. And if you don't enter in his rest by faith, if you got a nasty behind mouth, if you got a nasty behind attitude, if you got a nasty behind way of doing things, you do things your own way, you're worse than an infidel, and you soon will be cast out out of God's presence and everything else. You said that you can't change the way you talk. You said that you come, you try to let Satan bring you to this resurrection to the house of prayer with a nasty behind mouth. Husbands talking to wife, wife talking to husband in a kind of nasty way around your children. I will rebuke that demon up out of you and cast it so far away you ain't never seen them get a hold to a joker. Hello, somebody. There's mean death. There's a death that'll come through and wipe your whole family out, the whole seed of the demon. Hello, somebody. Amen. If you come before God disrespectful, if you come before God in any kind of manner, other than worshiping him as God, hello somebody, have no respect for his house, for his presence, for his people, or nothing else, just I got an attitude. I'm mad and I'm going to show the world I'm mad. I'll show you, I'll show him your casket. Hello somebody. Uh, 
Hello, somebody. Hey, man, you ever come around me with that dirt? I ain't associating with that man. Hello, somebody. Hey, Amen. You have an opportunity to open your heart and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Hey, Amen. You come down off of your high horses. You stop kicking everything like it's a dog and you the worst cat that's around. Hello, somebody. Hey, Amen. You stop being holier than thou. And hello, somebody. And tied up in all kind of sin, mischief, and everything else. You stop lifting up around God, around God's people in that demonic mess. You get your hands from tied up with all them demons, and you won't carry yourself as a demon. Hello, somebody. Amen. Oh, you, 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 you. Hello, somebody. You respect God. Amen. Uh, I love the Lord. I worship God, and I, I totally just, dis, dis, displeased with anybody that will disrespect God. It just, I just have, I have low tolerance for them. Amen. And all these young people that have the opportunity to be somebody that don't need to pick up your nasty ways and nasty habits. They get enough of that in other places. Amen. They get enough of that. God told the prophet, said, do not go by the way from the way you came. Amen. And do not praise me to God. Eat nothing to drink nothing right all the negative happening. He said, in this place. And that place was the place he brought you out of. And you're not going to begin to spread that place, gossip, junk, and everything in this place. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. Amen. Praise be to God. I come to get a, a, a revelation, a word from God. I, I come to be around God's house. There's a sweet smell that must enter into God's nostrils. God killed uh, uh, Aaron's son. Hello, somebody, for burning a, a, a incident that had to have a sweet smell. And you think you're going to come with a sour, nasty smelling attitude and God going to let you live? Hello, somebody. But he won't do nothing to you unless the prophet warn you. Hello, somebody. And if, if this ain't warning enough, you hello, somebody. I, I, hello, somebody. Now, pretend you can't control your tongue. Hmm. Hello, somebody. And I ain't got to hear you speak. Amen. If the angels and God have appointed around me to hear you speak, they'll do it. Amen. God didn't put these Benjamin on to the Lord. Amen. Amen. I come that they, he said, I come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundant. God is not going to let you spread a whole bunch of evil and wickedness around all his beautiful children. He pulled them out of the world to get into a, a spirit of love and harmony. Amen. A spirit of peace. There's the fruit of the spirit that must go on. And they must have a spiritual relationship with God. And you need to go somewhere in a closet and lock up and weep and cry before God and ask God to take that filth away. Hello, somebody, because there, it ain't no room for it in the body of Christ. Amen. We are in there to a season that we must walk by faith and not by sight, that we must, amen, get ourselves together, that we enter into God's rest this year, 2014, which is year, the seventh year that's coming up, and we must already be entered into his rest for that we ourselves are out of the way so that we all we have to do is speak it, believe it, profess it, and it shall be. Hello, somebody. Amen. All we have to do because the God works is finished. Everything with God say he's going to bless you. If you got to build an ark for 150 years, God is going to bless you. When he said the blessings of Abraham are going to come upon Abraham's children, if you truly Abraham child, God is going to bless you. If he said he's going to do it, he's going to do it. All you got to do is keep worshiping God. I ain't going to let nobody or nothing turn me around. I'm pressing on. Amen. I believe by faith that everything is going to be all right. I believe by faith that God has already got it worked out. I believe by faith that he is a God 
God of a second chance and he has worked out my life, my future, my all. I believe that God is in full charge and I am going to worship him. I am going to praise him. I am going to lift him up in voice, in saying, in ministry, in the way I walk and talk and carry myself. And Lord, if you find any ugly thing, any unrighteous thing, any unholy thing, Lord, let it be cast into the pit of hell that I may enter the life by the end of the life with one hand. It's all right. If I the end of the life with no with one anything, it's all right. Just so I'm able to enter in. Hello, somebody, because I love the Lord because He first loved me. He brought me from a mighty long way. I owe God a praise. I owe God more than a nasty attitude. I owe God more than that. As good as God been to me, bread on my table, clothes on my back, shoes on my feet. I ought to be letting my light shine. I am the salt of this earth. I ought to be lifted up to King Jesus instead of lifted up a nasty, wicked attitude. So many so many times it's so much about us and it's not about Jesus we become so negative because it's about me and they ain't treat me right and it me this and me that and me that and ain't nobody never gonna treat me, me, me right hello somebody, amen the devil come to kill and steal and to destroy and if it's all about you and instead of being about Jesus it ain't gonna never work out when it began to be about Jesus he said I come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Hello somebody, huh? And I'm not going to condemn myself because you got a nasty attitude. I'm not going to condemn myself because God put me in a place to grow and hello somebody because your time might be finished time, but it's my time to let my life shine and I intend to let my life shine. I intend to stand on a, 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 a city that put on top of a mountain cannot be here. You got to walk right. You got to talk right. You got to live right. You got to walk under obedience with God. You got to hello somebody and give God the praise. Stop trying to lift your up. Stop trying to act like you all that. Other than what God has done for you. Everything I am, everything I ever will be, is because of Him. What God is doing, everything I ever will possess, is because of Him. I thank God for the bread on my table, for the clothes on my back. And I ain't trying to lose it. I ain't trying to get away from it. I'm trying to keep on growing. I'm trying to get on higher. I'm more the day that I was yesterday, and that's because of Jesus Christ. I don't have nothing to show from that other place. All I have is what God has blessed me with and I'm thankful for it. I want to be faithful, but I want to keep it until he comes. I want to see it multiply. I want to see my two talents turn into four talents, my five into ten. I want to go a little higher. I'm not sick and tired. The devil ain't whooped me to the point where I'm discouraged about serving God. I'm more encouraged now about serving God than I ever was. I want to uplift him. Amen. I want to lift it. He made a star chase out of me. I can't wait till the next star come. I can't wait till the next computer come because I know there's a blessing in it somewhere. And everybody that run from the blessing will leave more for me. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. I want to get right for God and I want God to get that hello, somebody because he's already gotten everything that belongs to me in lied for me. I don't want it if it don't come from God and I'm not going to miss it if it don't come from hell somebody. Hello, somebody. Everything I am and everything I ever will be. Everything I ever hope to be. Everything I hope to be a child of God from my childhood. I hope to be a man. Hello, somebody. I love the God I serve. Hello, somebody. I worship the God I serve. The God I serve is all of that. I may not be nothing, fall short, but the God that I serve, the God that I serve, that's why when he went to Isaiah, he didn't say, Isaiah, fix it. He said, call on your God. Hello, somebody. 
Call on he that's greater than you. Hello, somebody. So you got to look up to the hill. You ain't nothing to hello, somebody. You ain't all that. Amen. If you keep that in you all that, you ain't going to never get nowhere. I'm looking up to the hill for what's coming by him. I'm looking up to the mountain top. I'm, I'm headed to Mount Zion. Hello, somebody. What has real him? Hello, somebody. I'm going up a little higher. Amen. On my way up. Not by power nor by might, but by the spirit of the living God. Uh, is anybody going to help me lift him? Is anybody going to help me lift him? You can't lift Jesus lifting yourself. You can't do it like that. Hello, somebody. You can't lift Jesus with a nasty attitude, a nasty mind, a nasty heart. You got to come to the well of living water and drink some of this water and let it change your life. You got to change your life. You got to change your walk and your talk. Your talk ought not to be the same as it used to be. You ought not to be getting old and bitter. You ought to be sweeter than the sweet. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Amen. Because my God, your life ought to reflect what God is doing for you instead of reflecting how the devil got you feeling. Hello, somebody, because nothing ain't going to never be enough to a person that ain't content with what they already got. Hello, somebody. I thank God. Hello, somebody. I thank God for what he's already done. I thank God for the piece of bread. I thank God for the salt, eggs, and crackers. I take some salt, eggs, and crackers and put me some cheese and put me some Parmesan on them. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. You ain't got to give me some black-eyed peas to stir up up in there. Hello, somebody. Ain't got to be chicken and black-eyed peas. Put some salt in them joker. Salt up for my pep them up real good. Y'all don't want to talk to me. I'm talking about, I'm talking about praise of the Lord. Y'all, I know about flour, bread, and syrup. You ain't got to tell Hello, somebody. I'm talking about, man, look at Get you some good old flour, bread, and syrup. Throw you some water in there. Get you some sugar in there. And stir it up and say, hey, praise the Lord. He said, baby, make kids to get big right here. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. Help me and strong. Hello, somebody. Get me a can of big milk and be big meat and some cheese out here. Yes. 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 Amen. My, my, my father said, better let the heart be established by grace. When your heart is established by grace, you ain't tipped it with a steak. You know somebody, steak is hungry. All I want to do is get food. Peanut butter and jelly. Banana sandwich. Oh, y'all on peanut butter and honey. You mean some honey with some peanut butter, you ain't even got to have no milk. Y'all don't want to talk to me. You know somebody. I'm just saying, amen. I thank the Lord. I feel good. I feel like praising God, amen. Amen. Let us stand, church. I feel like praising God. We have to learn to worship God. We have to worship God in spirit and in truth. Everything that comes out of God's mouth is good. Everything that comes out of God's mouth is good. I don't care how oh God going to do this to me. He ought to done done it to me if I ain't right. Hello, somebody. I thank the Lord. I want I get ready to take a song. I just want to be right. Hello, somebody. I ain't just trying to make God wrong if I can fit in. Trying to crook God that I can look good. Hello, somebody. Amen. Change my heart. Change my mind. Change my life. Hello, somebody. I give myself totally over to you. I ain't trying to be the big dog on the hill. I pray to ask God for wisdom and understanding when I first was born in the spirit. He dropped so much on my to beg him to take it up off me. I ain't trying to get all that little God got. I need a little bit at a time. It's sufficient for me. Hello, somebody. Amen. You can't do what God do. And I ain't trying to take his job. Hello, somebody. God all by himself. God is worthy to be praised. Man, you don't wish of God. Man, all the day God do the crickets out there cricketing. Hello, somebody. It's night somewhere in this day here. And God still God as he is here. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Huh? God is God of the heavens, not just this earth. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. God got more important things to do. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. At some point, we ought to be worshiping God. At some point, we ought to be living by faith. At some point, we ought to live by faith. But God don't have to come every five minutes and wipe our nose. And hello, somebody. We ought to get to the point where we just cry to God. We ought to get sorry for the life we live in. Sorry for the bad habits. And sorry, just, just cry, just cry, just kill, just everywhere. Lord, I'm just, I'm just tired, sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sick and tired of the devil to deceive us and get us all jacked up and... Uh. God told me the other day, he said, 
You know how, how you be driving your car and you stop at a stop sign and somebody jump in there and stick a gun and you say, get up, get out. Get out, get your behind my take your car. The devil is taking your faith. He jacked you. He jacked it for your joy. Huh? Can you imagine how nasty that look around people? Huh? Can you imagine what people think and they look and say, man, what kind of mess is that? All right, uh, he or she that's her. You behind. You the demon. Huh? Hello, somebody. You the one because God don't, uh, uh, charity don't act on the It's not puffed up. So the devil is alive. He he not he convince you that you holy. God word say you ain't. God word says not him. God word says the devil. And if you think I as a man of God will allow you or anybody else to run around here with a nasty behind mouth. Uh, the devil is alive. Uh, Amen. Teeth and tongue fall out. My wife is a beautiful woman. She always like that, though. Sometimes I can't stand that girl. Huh? But what I look like coming up here? Huh? What happened? On the mile? Stay on the mile. What happened at your house? Stay at your house. Amen. When you lose respect for yourself to bring that kind of stuff in God's house, they used to call that a whore. Huh? It doesn't have to be a man or woman. So you just live in a filthy life. There's a lot in your life that is not right. You tied up in sin. Now you can smile and carry on like you ain't. You sleeping with this, you sleeping with that, and you're doing a whole bunch of dirt. Hello, somebody. And if you ain't doing it, you've been contemplating it for the long planet for a long time because you got a nasty behind mouth and it come from a nasty heart. Hello, somebody. Now you can fool some of the people, but I ain't just got off the boat. Hello, somebody. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. You have to get some things right with God. The Bible says, with my people, huh? That are called by my name. When you start being called a Christian, he said, if you fast and pray and seek my face and turn from your evil, huh? Wicked it way. So, my name is Apostle Ophelia B. Lockett, Pastor of Resurrection Temple House of Prayer. I want to break into our service just to give you an opportunity to get your life right with God. The Bible said, if you will confess out of your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'd like to give you an opportunity right now to join me in prayer. And if you'll pray this prayer from the depths of your heart, sincerely, believing and trusting in the Lord, I know everything will work out for you. Let us pray this prayer. Let us say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess out of my own mouth for my own free will that I'm a sinner. And I ask you, Holy Father, to have mercy upon me. Forgive me a sinner. Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he was crucified, dead and buried for the forgiveness of my sin. I believe that on the third day God raised him from the dead. He ascended into heaven, set on the right-hand side of God the Father. And with this, he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and live. Come into my life and live. Lord, come into my home and live. Lord, I know by praying this prayer, by trusting and believing in you, they're going to talk about me. They talked about you. But even so, Lord Jesus, come. In the name of Jesus, let it so be. Amen. Amen. Amen.